Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I would like to show you guys how I created these four different text effects here and also with which fonts I've been working. Okay, so let's get started with that. First of all, as you guys can see over here on the right hand side, I do have my different layers and I'm basically going to turn off all layers now. Just going to keep our last Photoshop layers so we can see what we actually created. Okay, so let's go over to our text tool over here on the left hand side. Then I'm going to just create a really rough text selection over here and I'm going to write with capital letters Photoshop. Okay, this is also a font called Boombox. If you want to learn more, please have a look at dafont.com. Okay, so we typed out Photoshop and now what we're going to have a look quickly, we did use a Boombox font at 45 pixels and then also Sharp. It's centered to the left and white foreground color and we did not use any warping for our tool there and we did not work with any characters or with a paragraph but over here you do have a few options to tweak your text again just in case if you want to put the individual letters together more or if you want to narrow that more or expand that more you have the option to do this via your character area over here okay so I'm basically happy now with my photoshopping like that I'm gonna accept that from the top here from our application menu and also just going to escape quickly our characters here okay so our photoshop I'm just going to take my move tool move that a little bit into the center and now what we're going to do is just work a little bit with our layer styles here from the right hand side so I'm going to double click on here now and be brought right directly into the layer style and now in the layer style we're going to do a few certain things so first of all I want to give this Photoshop layer a stroke so I'm going to go all the way down here and find stroke at the moment we can't see the stroke because the background is black but over here under the color I want to just pick a very grayish color so let me go and take that a bit darker okay over here select that okay and directly you will see our stroke around this then I want to take the size down a little bit over here to say 29 25 somewhere around there 29 that looks about right maybe a little bit smaller 29 27 okay so I'm happy with that and I'm basically done already with my outer stroke for my new text but now I want to add a little bit of a depth to it and as you guys can see over here also a little bit of a gradient. That is very simple. Down here under file type we can actually choose from color, gradient or pattern. I'm going to choose gradient over here and directly you will see the changes completely again and also our fill type down here looks a little bit different again. So first of all I want to change my angle of this gradient so I'm going to say here 90% so it's more up and straight. Okay. And also I'm going to double click onto the gradient tool here and we're going to be brought again into the gradient editor. In the gradient editor now I would like to have from black I would like to have a dark gray again. So let's double click on here and create a very gray dark gray. A little bit more okay like that that looks about right a little bit more. Okay like that that's all right I'm going to say okay here and now I'm still going to tweak my stroke a little bit. Okay, so over here on opacity, I'm just going to take the opacity down a little bit. First of all, I have to say okay here, okay. So now I'm going to take my opacity a little bit down so it fades a little bit better into the background over here. Okay, and a little bit back again, so say around 55%. That looks about okay. Going to hit OK now and have a look at it first of all. We're still missing a few things, especially our inner shading here. All right, so let's go and get back into our layer styles. So over here, double click on our layer styles again and we're going to find inner shadow, which is right under stroke. So let's select that and also inner shadow over here. And we now have the option to tweak our shadows a little bit. So first of all, blending option is still a multiply. Opacity is up at 75% and the angle 74. And now we're able to take our distance here and tweak the distance a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. And now I do want to give that a little bit of a soft fading. So I'm gonna take the size down here and also fade that a little bit. Say up to 10, around 10 pixels. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so last step that we're still going to do now is give our inner color, the white text font here, we're going to give that also a gradient overlay. So let's go down here to gradient overlay, which will just give it a gradient overlay. As you guys can see, as soon as I've selected it, we already have a overlay in here. 
But now again, I don't wish to apply this that hard. So first of all, my opacity, I'm going to just take the opacity down a little bit to around 90% or 80%, okay? And also my scale here, let's play a little bit with the scale and see how much that will give us. Okay, so it's around 99%. I'm also going to keep that at around 99%. Okay, hit OK, and we are basically done already. So as you guys can see, this is our first font already. Looks pretty much the same like our top one. Now we just had a few individual tweaks over here, but it still looks pretty much the same. Okay, so that was our first font. Let's go over to create our second text font style now. Okay, so over here, I'm just gonna blend out my layers again, and also gonna blend in our new layer here, which is now our next Photoshop layer. Okay, so let's create over here with the text tool. Let's just take the text tool again and also create a text selection again. And I'm going to write Photoshop again. Directly our font changes as well. And this font is called the Brand Ball Fit, as you guys can see over here. Okay, so let's select all of that. As you guys can already see, it's not still turned to white. So normally it would be white. What I'm going to do now, first of all, I'm going to change the color from this text over here. So let's double click onto the color over here and I'm also going to choose between a very orangey color over here, a little bit more orange, make it a little bit stronger, more saturated. Okay, going to select that orange. Okay, so that's basically all I'm gonna do from our top application menu, going to accept that and also with our move tool, move this a little bit into the center again. Then again, on the right hand side, double click on here, get into the layer styles. And now in the layer styles, first of all, I'm going to apply a stroke again. Again, our stroke is black. So let's double click on here and create a white stroke. Whoa, that is super big. So accept that and let's turn our size all the way down to say just around 8% or nine pixels over here. Okay, that looks about right, maybe even eight pixels okay then also I want to keep it to outside blending mode normal opacity also 100% and the fill type still to color no gradient whatsoever so color over that then I want to add also a inner shadow again so let's go over to inner shadow select that and also over multiply we're going to keep the opacity at 75% angle 74 distance we're going to work a little bit with our distance over here Okay, and also apply some size over here. So we're just going to make this a little bit to pop. Say around six pixels. Okay, then we're going to take our distance down again to four and take our pixels up again to eight. Okay, and now the last step that we're going to do is add a little bit of a gradient overlay. So select the gradient overlay again. As you guys can already see, it applies directly to the text. And I'm not wishing to have this in a gray-white gradient overlay, as you guys can still see over here. I want to basically keep that as that gradient overlay, but I want to change my blending options here from the top. So let's go over the blending options and go all the way down to overlay. And that is a little bit too strong. As you guys can see, it starts to get very reddish over here, then orangey and yellow. So let's go and choose from soft light and that looks already way, way better. So over here, I can see our color was still a bit too dark. Our orange was too dark. It was a little bit lighter before, but that's my quick way of how to create the same text font style over here. So let's hit OK, and directly you will see we have completely the same new font over here as we created with this one. Very simple, a new stroke, just a little bit of a inner shadow, and then also added a little bit of a gradient overlay with a different blending option again. Okay, so these were our first two font layer styles. Please switch over now to part two, where we're going to show you guys the next two font layer styles.